Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. This is ReactJS tutorial series. Now in this video tutorial, I will explain how to implement a simple search filter with the array of strings in ReactJS component. And here we got the final output. That is the text box control. Now I am entering the country name India. See? If I type Tokyo, if I type some wrong text it's not displayed if i enter australia new delhi space if you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates before continuing this video tutorial i sincerely recommend please watch my previous reactions tutorials you can find those video tutorials in my channel playlist now let's continue the today's tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio 2019 to create a ReactJS application. Just for the time saving, I have already created one application with the ASP.NET Core. And this is our application. Let me expand this application. Notice in this application there are some default folders and files has been created automatically. Now in this folder, in this application, there is a client app folder which contains all my client side applications. Uh, inside this client app, there is a source folder. Let me expand this source folder. Notice there is a components folder inside this source folder. Now, all my components, ReactJS components, I'm adding in this components folder only. Let me expand this one. Now, let's create one new component. I'm selecting JavaScript file, and the file name I'm adding such um, array strings, array string. And here we got our JavaScript file. Now to create a component, ReactJS component in, in JavaScript file, first we need to import the React class from the React library. So let's import that one first. Import React, React from React library. After that, I'm defining one class, which is a such array string extends component every class component contains a main method called render and i want to render the output in the return return method and this return method contains the html elements so first let's add one div element which is a root element of our component inside this root element i'm adding one center tag so I want to display the data, the output at the center of the browser. Now let's add one header tag. Implementing such filter functionality, functionality, functionality with array of string, array of strings. Let's close the H1 tag. After that, I'm adding H2 header. We are just tutorials. I guess tutorials. I'm closing the header tag. After that, I'm adding one horizontal line. Now, below this horizontal line, I want to display data in a table. So, first, we require an array of strings. So, go to the class component about the render method. I'm creating adding one constructor whenever we add a constructor the next step we need to add a super method after that we can define the properties in this state inside the state column i'm defining an array the array name is data and here the array is uh, country country column i'm adding india country and capital is uh, new delhi we require one comma here copy this one and the second one i'm adding 
Japan. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. Tokyo. New Zealand. The New Zealand capital of New Zealand is the Wellington. And the country of the next country name is I'm adding Australia. The capital of Australia is Canberra. Canberra. Now let's bind this data here in the table. So I'm defining one table. Table element which contains one border. Table, I'm closing the table element. After that, TR, this table does contains a table headers. Table headers is a country, and the second table header is the capital. Let's close this TH. And after that, I want to bind this data, the country and capital layer, and capital. So I'm using data dot this dot data this dot state dot data dot map method i'm defining an item inside this item let's close this curly brackets parenthesis table rows i'm closing the table row item dot first one is a country name i want to display and the second table table rows table rows and the table data table data again i'm creating one more table data to display the capital name capital name that's it now come to the bottom we need to export our export default our component which is a substring copy that one and paste here that's it let's save this file now before implementing the such filter functional in this array component i would like to check the output this array is binded into this table or not but before that we need to configure our component in index file open solution explorer come to the bottom notice index.tsx file open that one in the render method notice at this moment we got the array queue component i'm deleting this one i'm adding my new component called such array string and we need to import this component in the header section here so let's import that one see here it's imported now let's check the output and here we got the output of our component notice in the table these are the address continents and captain now my next target is i want to add one text box control when a user enters any text a country name or capital name i want to display only that data information in this table so again switch over to the component uh, first let's define uh, one text box here such input type is equals to text and let's add a placeholder is equals to such country country or capital names Close our text box element. Uh, again, um, I want to add one more horizontal line to do separate uh, the text box and the table. Now, here the logic first. I'm defining one property called filter. Filter. And this filter I'm using, this property filter I'm using, whenever the user enters any text in this uh, input element text box, 
I want to display those results. So here come to the bottom. First, I require that search text, search uh, text, search text. I'm adding an event which is an on change event. Uh, this dot set state method. Here in the set state method, I'm adding between curly brackets. I'm adding this filter column e dot target dot target dot value let's close this one also now let's bind this here on change event is equals to this dot um, such text dot bind this method this bind this now after that now we require the logic to get the such filter functionality so that logic i'm adding inside this render method render method define let i'm adding filter and data properties filter data is equals to this dot state this both properties is inside this this dot state so that's why i'm adding here now let's define another let and data search data search data search is equals to filter dot data here i'm adding one item the object here and this this data search is our output displays on the table so return object i want to define the object dot keys please contains this item i'm adding this item dot some method which is a callback function and this callback function i'm adding one more key okay now here item i want to add this parameter inside this data parameter item key dot to lower case lower case is a method which ignores the case sensitive if a user types a capital or small letters we don't get any error so that's why i'm using two lower case that includes that includes filter dot two lower case method two lower case method that's it it's very two line statement to fetch the records to filter the records and the most important in the input text the value the user enters and that value we are getting from this filter property this filter property here that's it now it's time to check the output. Let's save this application. I'm reloading the browser. Oops, here we got an error. Type error. Filter data is not filter 36. Filter, it's not filter data. It's a data dot filter. Uh, filtering the data dot filter. Data dot filter. And come to the bottom. Here we have binded the array. So instead of that, I'm adding the data search. Now the new output will be this one: the data search. Data search. That's it. We have added uh, added the value filter here. Let's save this file. Now we'll check the final output. 
I'm reloading the browser. And here we got the final output. That is the text box control. Now I'm entering the country name India. See? If I type Tokyo, if I type some wrong text, it's not displayed. If I enter Australia, New Delhi, space. That's it. In this video tutorial, I'll explain how to implement a simple search filter functionality using the arrays of strings in React.js component. Thanks for watching and please subscribe my channel.